Huh? First we make the dough. Then we spread it out with a rolling pin. Then we toss it high in the air with some sauce and cheese. And if you don't tip the delivery guy, you get... Yes! Oh. Hey, how'd that son do that? I never saw it coming. <laughs> You got it? That'll teach you once and for all not to mess with this TV show's main character. You're the main character? Second fiddle to the main character is never easy. You give it your all knowing that someone is always going to be better than you and get more credit than you. Yet you believe that your power and worth is equal if not greater. Two characters understand this struggle like the back of their hands. Meet Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans, and Don Patch, aka Papa Rocks. This pair of fighters have landed in second place all of their lives, but today, one will rank first. Today, we rewind Rumble. Prince Vegeta is the prince of the fallen Saiyan race and arch rival to Goku. He is the eldest son of King Vegeta, the husband of Bulma and father of Trunks and Bulla. Egotistical and full of pride, Vegeta was once a ruthless, cold-blooded warrior and outright killer, but later abandons his role in the Frieza Force, instead opting to remain and live on Earth, fighting alongside the Z Fighters, all while striving to become the universe's most powerful warrior, specifically with the mission to surpass Goku in power. His character evolves from villain to anti-hero and eventually protagonist through the course of the Dragon Ball series. In the year 3005, the entire Earth is controlled by the Chrome Dome Empire, where Tsar Baldibald IV has ordered a massive global hair hunt, stating that all humankind must become bald. However, this was a problem for Bobobo Bo Bobobo, as he knew that every hair on every living thing was in of itself its own person. He knew this himself because as as a child, he could hear Hare speak to him personally. On his quest to stop the Hare Hunters, he ran into Don Patch. Don Patch's gang had mistaken Bobobo for being a member of the Wig Bro Gang, which is a faction of the Chrome Dome Empire who pretends to have hair wigs while they commit crimes. Don Patch's gang called out Don Patch to defend them, but Don Patch seemed extremely tired and lackluster for mysterious reasons, which is why he was rejuvenated with tons of soda. After battling Bobobo, Don Patch figured that Bobobo wasn't a member of the Wigbro gang and decided to team up with him to fight off the Hair Hunters. Prior to meeting Bobobo, most of Don's origin is a mystery. Don Patch was confirmed to be at least 50 years old as he was the proclaimed king of Hajikalists for an impressive period of, you guessed it, 50 years in a row. But what does it exactly mean to perform the Hajik, aka wigging out for you English dub fans? We goat, we goat, we goat. The series is so random and crazy, it's because this technique is actually a skillful reality warping battle tactic known as, that's right, wigging out. We goat, we goat, we goat. It is a martial art that is used to utterly confuse the enemy into a point of either giving up, losing energy, becoming confused, or dropping their guard. Both Bobobo and Don Patch are extremely skilled in this martial technique of wigging out. As for Vegeta, being the Prince of Saiyans means he's been fighting for nearly all his life. He can fly, manipulate ki, transform into Super Saiyan 1, 2, red and blue, knows various techniques such as the Final Flash, Gallic Gun, and Big Bang Attack. Vegeta is also insanely powerful as he is on par with Goku who went toe to toe with Jiren, slapped Beerus across the face, and has even fought Goku on many different occasions. Spoiler alert, but Vegeta also has fighting experience against Broly, though it did take the fused form of Gogeta to finally knock some sense into the big lug. Well, actually, it was really the Dragon Balls that wished Broly to safety, but that's a different story for a different day. Back to our sun star, Don Patch. March of the 300 High School Girls! <laughs> One of his most frantic attacks involved the use of his fists to pulverize his enemy in a rapid-fire punching style. He occasionally can extend spikes around his body to pierce anyone. Another one of his more well-known abilities is the power of transformation, where Don Patch becomes pretty much a body bag for both offense and defensive purposes. But then there's Donnie's transformations, his serious transformations. Much like how Vegeta can transform into a Super Saiyan, Don Patch has a powered-up form known as 
super patch and professional patch for the English dub fans. This form is clearly a parody of both Super Sonic and the Super Saiyan transformation. Serious Don Patch boosts all of Don Patch's stats and he gets more powerful the angrier he gets. As for Vegeta, beyond Super Saiyan Blue, there's the Super Saiyan Blue Evolve state where Vegeta pushes beyond the original SSB form. This form was first achieved by Vegeta during the Tournament of Power when he broke his own limits. Using this form against Jiren alongside SSB Kaioken Goku, the two managed to go head to head with the Bald Martian, however this two on one was diminished after Jiren finally got tired of it. Now that is not to say this form is weak by any means. If Super Saiyan God had universal power and Super Saiyan Blue was a Super Saiyan multiplied version of Super Saiyan God, just imagine the full force of Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue Evolved state. As for weaknesses, Don Patch's greatest weakness is A, his own stupidity, and B, inconsistency in power. Don Patch is not exactly a smart fella. Now, he is book smart and has plenty of degrees, but in terms of battle smarts, he is constantly fooled into being a decoy or physical shield for Bobobo. And as for inconsistency, at some moments, Don Patch appears to have the power of an unstoppable god. In other moments, Don Patch can be defeated through the most simplest of means. For Vegeta's weaknesses, of course there are physical limits to the guy, that if you're powerful enough, one could surpass Vegeta in theory, but this is unlikely. His more realistic weakness would be his own arrogance. Now, don't confuse arrogance for pride or even rage, which in fact strengthens Vegeta's power but his arrogance causes Vegeta to let his guard down in early points during battle. For example, when he first faced Broly, he was toying with him thinking it would be an easy fight. This only allowed Broly to quickly learn from Vegeta and use his own abilities against him. Goku had to eventually tag in because Vegeta was definitely overwhelmed by Broly. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Okay, Freak, hand over that ball, or I'll take it by force! Oh, yeah? Well, then come on and get it, tough guy! <laughs> How pathetic! A complete waste of time! What a chump! I can still take you, chump! Does a freak like you ever experience true fear?! NANI?! Taking this dragon ball. Huh? 
Hmm? What the? Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Naibu. I'd also like to thank the VA of Don Pad Shadow of Torres, and the VA of Vegeta, the SS Ultimate Goku. Don't forget to check out all their channels and the SS Ultimate Goku's Casting Call Club link down below in the description. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. <laughs>